today we're in Wigan because we're joining the fold and we think that you might rather like the fold that we're joining. So a couple of weeks ago we came over here um, to my rider because we thought that we could just turn up and buy the bikes. given a lovely little factory tour. Oh, it was amazing. They hadn't quite finished the factory at that point because yeah. they just moved, hadn't they? But, um, but yeah, we were given the factory tour. But they uh, explained to us then that, yeah, they're, they're pretty swamped. Yeah, so and if you want their bikes are completely built to order. By hand. By hand, by so, one person. Well, yeah, there was several in a production, obviously, area. Yeah, but each bike is built, built to bike. completion by one person. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we ordered two bikes. Yeah, we, we, ordered, we ordered two then, <laughs> and now we're going to come back and, and pay for them and take them away. Yeah. So today, it's more about cycling. Yay! Hey, why not continue in such a theme? There you go. Oh, I'm so excited though. Because when we were looking at our bikes originally, yeah. by the way, our bikes are still amazing and we yeah. still love them, and there is no. Um, no getting out of anything with those bikes. They are amazing. Yeah. It's just that sometimes we need to take bikes and a kayak, or yeah. bikes and a fridge, or bikes and more All dog food. And, um, and yeah, these you'll see when we pick them up. That, yeah. Um, it's to do with size and weight, um, but also the fact that these bikes are, apart from probably off road, they're not as capable. But certainly on, what did you say? Fifty percent of the stuff we've done this weekend with Mevi. Yeah. Because cycle paths and stuff like that. Yeah, more, more than capable yeah. of, of, of dealing with stuff like that. But we also didn't want to make such a financial investment into something we didn't know if we were going to use. Yeah, originally we were, well, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was constrained by a budget of sort of, um, well, John, if you don't mind, don't spend all the family cr uh, crown jewels. Yeah, let's not spend everything on something we have no idea yeah. if we're going to use them or not. And are they any good and we'd never had electric bikes before or anything yeah, like that yeah we never had folding bikes mm. or electric bikes so getting the ones we thought we'll go for the mega mega mountain bikes because of all the places we were going of course lockdown influenced that a little yeah. bit as well because of where we were yeah um and now we figured out that yes we do use them and we would utilize them more we miss them yeah. in spain and we're, but we just didn't have the weight and we didn't and the have space, the space because we had to carry extra stuff for coop and then obviously you bought a kayak. I did. I did, <laughs> and all the accessories that go with it. Yeah. So, um, um, yeah. Oh, look, so, kayak's cool, though. Don't diss the kayak. Yeah, well, no, I'm not dissing the kayak. Not dissing, not dissing. Um, but, yeah, so, so yeah. It's, uh, it was definitely one of those ones where it's been a, a work in progress. So, seeing how much we've used the bikes, how much we've not had the bikes with us and regretted wanted it. to use yeah. them and, and regretted not having them with us has um, as made us... Um, Look at, alternatives. Look at alternatives. And thankfully, you've just had a contract renewal, so hey. we could go spend it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got to try one of the demo bikes, and we were absolutely blown away. They should be all ready by the time we get in there. Which is in five, five minutes. minutes. <laughs> so I better drink my coffee. <laughs> so yeah, can't wait. great displays and accessories at the shop as well so not only could you see the new bike with uh, the camo version with the uh, badass tires which we did later upgrade our tires to um, but yeah the phone kit as well is pretty cool so you put your phone in that holder keeps it nice and waterproof went for the backpack as well on the uh, pannier rack and they had some really cool recycled backpacks and pannier backs as well from old climbing gear so yeah, really good and uh, really good quality, decent prices as well. Oh yeah, don't forget the comfy seat as well. Mm -mm, comfy seat. And now just look at this, so get in here. So there's the My Rider bike. 
There's a spare toilet cassette behind. But there's the first mountain bike. Oh, hello, back with the next one. Next one. Cool. Perfect. Now, one huge thing we need to do. Oh, you need to do. I need to go pay. Go pay. <laughs> <laughs> Am I paying, are you? I don't have a job. <laughs> Actually, I should get paid for looking after you more than anything. Oh, Kara. Yeah. <laughs> Excited much? Oh my god, can you drive like really, really quickly? <laughs> really fast. Really quickly, so but within the, bike. within the legal limits, oh, of yeah, course. Obviously. I'm Pops. seeing a, I'm seeing a pub visit coming up. Oh look, well, look. someone was on test drive. Test drive under my rider. Woo! <laughs> but yeah, let's go. I, I see a, a bike ride to the pub in our future. Packs a gate. Oh yeah, we have to go a bit further than the normal one. It's a proper test, that isn't it? <laughs> Get going! So Obviously, on this one, I've taken the seat out and the handlebars fold down, which doesn't happen on that one. But even without that, you can see how much smaller it is. It's literally half the height, a little bit less on the length, and obviously more compact width-wise as well. So as you can see, it's a very packed boot, but we've got everything in there. So we've got both bikes in there. We've got the kayak, tools down the bottom, ladders, you know, traction mats, um, the inflatable stuff for the kayak, got other tools, drills, uh, the beer fridge is over at the back as well. It's a spare uh, toilet cassette, spare water container, everything's there. Uh, we've not put the bikes in the bags at the moment, that's the bags there, there's there. Obviously we've got the fire pit as well, which goes down the bottom there, so there's loads of space. So the fact that we've got both bikes in there, and all this space as well, and we can carry everything, is absolutely brilliant. Isn't it? The world is moving on. I'm still standing here, searching for steady ground, a place to settle down. No reasons left to find. One day I'll change your mind, and it won't. true Mandy and John style we came to the pub we ordered <laughs> and we didn't film anything surprise surprise <laughs> I had the gammon what did you have? I had mushroom and leek crumble mm -hmm. which was very nice but so filling yeah mm. uh, bikes behaved nicely a bit nice. we've got a nice river yeah. there. it's beautiful found them to be really good anyway but yeah. yeah and that little boost button whoa yeah that's good, isn't it? very it's cool. like turbo turbo mm. turbo turbo or turbo. noz if you're a bit younger yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah thought we'd uh, come out to the pub weather's improved as well it so is you might get a bit of washing done this afternoon that would be very nice i'm gonna need to wash everything i'm wearing because i put a jumper on because i thought it was going to be cold yeah it's quite warm it's nice though it's not too warm but no yeah. it is nice but it is warm right then time to get to the shop to get back but yeah, so far, nice to get out on the bikes again. Oh, it's warm today. It is warm. Not complaining though, because I prefer no. to be warm than it raining. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but we thought we'd talk about a few things that you keep getting questions about, which, yes. um, well, we'll go through them all. First one was about merch. Yes, merch. Um, we've taken our shop offline, um, basically because we've run into a few issues with, um, I guess, um, supply and how it all worked whether it was our end or their end or whatever. So I thought for the time being, just to make sure there was no issues anywhere, take it offline. Take it offline, then we're gonna iron out all the bits and bobs 
and then we're going to come back online again, hopefully with a couple of new T-shirts too. Maybe. Cooking-related one, let's mm. just say that one. And, and a cooking-related related one. one. So these are going to be available on the website to buy. Yes. Along with some new nice little stickers. Limited edition holographic badass stickers. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. they're going to be on the website soon. Um, we're not quite worked out prices yet, but um, if probably do them as a pair. Yeah, because it's so. not we've not sold them individually at all yet. No. So uh, yeah, we can uh, put so. them as a pair. Yeah, they're very cool. I love my keyring. I've got one on my keys. Mm. Mm. Um, obviously, the other stickers are still on the website. If you still want to buy the other sticker packs? Yes. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like merch over and done with. Yes. The other question people keep asking about is what happened to memberships? We decided, um, obviously there's quite a few members on there who are paying a small monthly fee to help support us. And we absolutely can't thank everyone enough for that. Yeah. But it kind of weighed on our minds as well is that at a time where it was difficult for all YouTubers to produce content. Yeah. Specifically as we should be travelling and we can't travel so much. We're going to do it might be every week still if we've got loads of stuff to do. It might be it's probably going to be less frequent than that. Yeah. But we're still going to be putting videos out. It's just going to be when we've got enough content. Because of that we thought as with us, there's a moral thing of not wanting to get the membership money because we're not delivering on what we originally planned, which was these regular videos. Yeah, so as we were doing two videos a week mm. and people were supporting us with that and then if we were going to stop doing that, we felt like it was a bit wrong to still be taking that money. So yeah. that's it. Nice and simple. Yeah. In the future, we'll have merch and in the future, we'll be travelling. Very, 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 very short. This I was going to say distant so, future. It's good. It'll near be future. Very, near future. The very near future. <laughs> You're saying it like it's going to be ages away, and it really isn't. It's not like off into the future is all of this stuff coming back. It'll all be back at some point. The merch, especially since you yeah. pull your finger out, gadget. Yeah, once we get travelling and we get into a rhythm and all that kind of stuff, then I'll have more time, hopefully, to sit back and uh, look at the other options like merch and that. Yep. But we have just been so busy going to events, meetups, um, doing our own personal stuff as well. So obviously things that I need to do for work. Um, again, like, you know, going by in bikes, that was a bit of a trek. Helping Mevy out on his stuff like that. So we've just been yeah. really busy yeah, doing all these other things. Doing my course and, mm. and obviously I do a little bit of work as well and stuff like that. So it has just been full on. Full on. Yeah. It's been nice to be that busy, but now yeah. we're kind of hoping to be a different kind of busy. So a couple of questions as well we've been asked is, when are you doing your cookbook, Mandy? It's, that is part of my worky things that I've been doing. It is coming along slowly but surely. It's a lot of work, you know. And of course I've got to cook them all again. Yeah. And we've got to eat them all again yeah. to get the pictures. So so far I think we're on 40, 40 recipes. Yeah. And then there's a couple of pages of other things um that will get chucked in there. So it's um it, it's it's still coming. a work in progress. Yes, absolutely. But it is in progress it which is. is very important. And I can <laughs> see work is being done on it. Mm. And I've tested recently because somebody asked me about what video is this thing, I forget what it was now. So I asked you and you told me what video it was. Yep. He goes, do you so know which video? And I'm like, yes, it's this one. Because I've got an index. <laughs> <laughs> so another little thing was pub stops as well. So Mandy's still doing the database of that. So if you've got any pubs, UK, France, Spain, you know, wherever you think we can go to the good food like epic food you know like challenge food challenges and mm. like that, uh, where we can stay overnight in the car park and the pub's all right with that yep. and um be roll mandy yep i've been getting loads of them um via instagram private messaging which has been wonderful so thank you very much for anybody that sent them in so far and keep them coming because i'm love I, I go on there and then john loses me for a bit and then i get hungry because i just go on and then have a look at the menu and and, and that's that because you know it's got to be thoroughly tested oh yeah and if you are wondering when you're going to get to see the list of it, obviously you want a minimum number, don't you? Yeah. Pubs and. I want a minimum number. So the more you put, the more you give me to put on the list, the quicker the list is going to get out. There we go. So yeah. Winner, winner. Pub, Pub stop dinner. For dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much where we're up to right now. Uh, we are about to uh, get something exciting done on the van. Ah! And you'll find out in about thirty seconds. Yeah. <laughs>
today's the day. It's oven day, yay. And you might recognize AD. Currently trying to work out how the stupid draw comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Big hammer. Yeah, I think that'll be it. I'm up for that. I know a guy who's really good at making them, you see. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let me show you the oven. Do, do, do. Here you go, a quick workshop tour as well. Oh, the lovely workshop things. There we go, side by side comparison. And um, internal space, not so much on that one, and a lot more, so it's deeper and obviously wider there. So that one, the older one, is obviously losing a lot of internal space, whereas this one, much better. As usual, the foreman's there, making sure it's all right, Mr. Supervisor. Ooh, big tools are out now. Oh, I was expecting a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try the delicate option first. We need to get that out so we can disconnect everything for that. And the bottom one, drawer-wise, has got to come out as well. There we go, all hey, done and dusted. Finally. Stupid, somebody had glued it down. Look at that. Now we can replace the oven. Yay. And there it is, babes. It's out. Your, your hateful Yay. oven is now gone. <laughs> If anybody wants to buy it, let us know. The great scrapyard in the <laughs> and that's the space left. So the intricate detail that you're never going to see after it's fitted, which is all the supports and side walls and everything else that are going in there. So when it's fitted, the new oven will fit like a glove. So that's where the existing drawer is going to go in. It's all going to fit in there. Amy's going to connect the cooker up to this little safety valve that's there already. That's where the new cooker is going to fit. So we've got a new shelf slightly lower down than the old one because obviously it's a bigger cooker. You'd be surprised how much wasted space there was around the old cooker though. Just ridiculous really. Um, and then we've got a new drawer at the bottom there which is obviously a little bit more shallow than before but strangely enough the drawer wasn't that much bigger anyway, it just had a really big front on it. Like a glove. Bit of gas testing now, make sure everything's alright. So there we go, all done. Looks lovely. Got a new bottom drawer that's the height of the new oven and um, which has to be sort of predetermined by this drawer because that's where all the gas and everything connects to so it's dropped down from there new oven and then shave a little bit off the drawer that was there so we've now got a new little smaller drawer down there still functional still a nice little drawer and everything so there we go all done we've got a proper oven and grill and get a pizza in there oh yeah such a perfect job on the rest of it as well but you can't tell that those have been changed all that down there has been changed and all that and everything else down there has been changed so it just looks factory again and just in case you didn't know who did it it's ad from all things timber thanks very much buddy you're welcome as again absolutely storming job so uh, just need to pay you now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of your new oven then? I think it's brilliant. Ooh. I think it looks like proper, it's brought the kitchen right into the future. Oh yeah, look at that. All nicely lined up. Everything looks nice now. It's such a good fit, fit and finish and these like match each other properly now as well, don't they? Yeah. It's brilliant. Love it, can't wait. We have. Yeah, we've got something we've never had before in this van. Pizza! <laughs> so that's for later, so I can't wait. And I just need to unpackage everything that's in there and I need to uh, sort it all out. I need some slightly bigger baking trays as well. Yeah, and we need to figure out a few little rattles it's got as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but that shouldn't be. We're pros at that now, oh, see, yeah. so that should be nice and easy. And I've got to bake a new batch of brownies. Oh yeah, I've got to test them out on that. Because I've baked a batch in the... I thought, I'll see the oven off. The last one didn't I'm like yep. that, I'm going to cut one last thing and I made my 
what I thought were bulletproof brownie recipe I've made a million times before in the house and what normally is a half hour recipe took 2 hours and 15 minutes to do and left me with a soggy bottom and a burnt top and the brownies weren't too bad either <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so I'm going to do the exact same recipe again in exactly the same baking tray and blah 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 in this oven and see if they come out any better cool mm. so watch this space for watch this space folks easy for you to say it is really isn't yeah. it yeah but how pretty is it look and once I've got the hang of it roast dinner yeah and if you want to know how much was uh, the fitting or well, so to buy the oven and the fitting including all the gas testing new gas pipes the additional supports at the side and obviously the uh, reduction of the drawer at the bottom and all that kind of stuff was uh, roughly 750 pounds um, and we'll put Aidy's details down in the video description down below won't we yep so people can uh, contact him if you've got a stupid toaster oven and want a proper oven grill then it is your man to sort it out. It really is. And even if it's not quite the same setup, all of the changes that you made here were bes uh, completely bespoke to the van. Yeah. So if you've got anything that you want to change or keep or whatever, it'll work with you. He's such a good lad. He's absolutely brilliant, isn't he? I mean, if you think about that kitchen now, obviously that is completely new. He's done it. That now is. And so is the fridge. So the whole kitchen is completely different than it was when we bought the van. Well. And yet you wouldn't know really. Not completely well, different. Well, yeah. Sweet, no. There's a lot of but change. There's a lot of change in here. But can you tell? Because it all looks nice and factory still. I it? think it all looks so factory still, like it actually came out looking this cool and mm. up to date. So, yeah, well impressed. Can't wait to use it. Don't mm. use it dinner time yet. Not yet. No. Mm. So we've had a right interesting week. Really? We have. We've had plenty to do. It's been. Um, it's been lovely. Busy. Busy. Lovely. New bikes, new toys, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit around to a pub and stuff like that. Yep. A little bit of doing stuff in the middle, get some more stuff done on the van. I suppose you could almost say now with the inclusion of the uh, the new oven grill that um, there's not really that much left to do on the van. It could almost be seen as being finished. <gasps> oh dear, you'll say such a thing. You can say that? No. No? No, so I'm finished then. No, because we've got a few more things I want to do yet. You see, Ooh, mm. watch the space. Watch the space. <laughs> All right, and um, next week. Well, I think you're really going to like next week. Yep. Let's just say that. No, I'm not going to tease. <laughs> you just could have to watch next yeah, week. You just have to watch it. Yeah. You just have to watch it. It's so cool. Nearly let slip on something then. <gasps> How dare you? I know. How dare you? All right, I um, hope you guys have had a great week and uh, we'll catch you next week. You will. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.